getting ready to do a great topic. So my name is Cindy Gardner. For those who may not know me, I come to you every Tuesday and Thursday talking all things at launching and operating a successful and profitable travel business. And today's topic is all about engagement and the use of AI in getting that engagement. So if you are new to artificial intelligence and you are not using that inside of your travel um, business, you are going to want to stay tuned. So my favorite conversational AI, just in case you may not know what AI is, it is a way for you to have a handy friend that pretty much can help you get what's in your head on paper and out into the world. So that is really the name of the game in this uh, next quarter. What we're going to be doing is spending a lot of time helping you understand how you can use AI in your travel business so that you can get out of your head and on paper and out to the people that you want to help get out of town. And so today's topic is all about interaction. So there's three things that I always say when it comes to marketing your travel business. You should have a system to automatically attract your ideal client and a way to consistently relate to them in a meaningful way that's meaningful to them. And then you should always be asking for the conversion. And that stands for ARC, which is the marketing process that I sort of coined to help you really make sense out of how you can market your business. So you want to attract, relate, and convert. I always say if you're only attracting and relating, you've got really great friends, but you really need to be asking for the sale, and that's where the seat comes in. So we're going to be spending some time today on the relationship. And so interaction is the name of the game when it comes to interaction um, in, in terms of relationship. And so if you guys ever put out a post and there's no nobody responds maybe you send out email and you think you're email marketing and nobody's responding to you so what we're going to do today is talk about how you can create content that really is designed for interaction let me know in comments how you guys feel about like your post and are you getting engagement on your post are people liking commenting sharing your content and if they're not what I will tell you is in the social media world, you're probably getting penalized um, for not getting that engagement. So every piece of content that you put out there, let's say on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, you name whatever social media platform, the algorithms want to know that you are actually connecting with your ideal client. So that means you've got to create content that allows you to do that. But there's also some things that you can do when it comes to content to ensure that you can start to get that kind of engagement. So one of those things that we're actually going to talk about three different stages that I want you to really be thinking about interactive content or opportunities for you to be getting that interaction. The number one stage that you can be getting interaction from your peeps is first, Let's say you have a Facebook group. We have a Facebook group. We just started our AI for Travel Advisors. And if you are not a part of that group, you're going to want to join us. And all you have to do is click the link that is inside of this lesson. I will also post it right afterwards because I didn't have the forethought to add it uh, um, to the Facebook Live and the YouTube Live. So I'll include the link here, but it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash AI for Travel Advice, uh, AI for Travel and that will get you inside of our group. So stage one is when somebody just enters into your world. So if you come into my Facebook group, you come onto my email list, there's a perfect opportunity for you to create some sort of engagement. You can create an email or you can actually welcome, do a warm welcome to that person. And so how you can use AI to help you with that is you can ask questions. And so interactive questions, not questions that are like, how are you doing, right? Like questions that really are going to confirm that the person that just joined your group or your list, that they're in the right space. So you want to ask for that engagement and we can use AI to come up with some ideas. So if you're like, well, how do I do that? The first thing is, is let me give you an example of what we do when you come inside of our group. When you come inside of our group, my admin, she actually tags you. It's either me or my admin, and she tags you on a welcome post because we want to make sure that when you come in, that we give you a strong welcome. Hey, how are you doing? And we give you, we tag you on a post. 
So we welcome you into the group, we tag you on a post, and then every week we tag all of our new members into a, another welcome invitation. So I do a welcome, I do another um, post every week that gives you some sort of a great piece of information, either training or inside of our AI for travel uh, advisors, I give you a weekly prompt and I tag all of our new members on that weekly prompt. Same thing that you should be doing when it comes to your business. When you, if you have a travel group and you are welcoming new people, don't get me wrong. You know, Facebook has got this really great automation where you can just tag people and you can welcome them and it automatically does that. But that's kind of impersonal. And let me tell you why, because it's not a customized message that gives people instructions and it sort of is robotic. So what you can do is if you're trying to figure out, well, what do I say in this post or what do I do? Let's go to our friend ChatGPT and ask, what is a great welcome item, welcome post that you can create to welcome? So let ChatGPT know that you have a Facebook group or you have a community and you want to welcome them and give you some content to welcome them. An interactive way to welcome somebody is to give them an instruction or a poll and ask a meaningful question to them as they are entered into your Facebook group or your community or your email list. And so that is what we do. We ask a question. What, you know, what are you struggling with when it comes to AI? What are you struggling with when it comes to your travel business? When it comes to your particular Facebook group, what is the purpose of your Facebook group? What are the, what are the people that you want to attract to your group? Ask them a question. Don't know what to ask? Ask AI. Listen, I have this Facebook group that is intended to attract X, right? You fill in the blank. Who is your X? And then give me a great poll question to ask them as they're coming into the group. The objective here is to get engagement when somebody enters into your world, right? So Facebook groups are a really powerful connection tool. But what you want to do is you want to get them as they come in. Same thing with your email list. When somebody joins your email list, you want to get them when they come in. You don't want to just deliver whatever it is that it is. You want them talking to you back, right? Because a relationship is two way. So stage one is when somebody first gets on into your world, either email group, it doesn't matter. I don't care how they get into your world. You've got to have a powerful way to get that conversation started and a poll and a question and an ask for a response is a perfect way to do that. And you can have AI help you come up with some ideas as what to do. Stage two is ongoing engagement. So we call that inside of our travel business, we call that sort of our general marketing, ongoing marketing. And this is where we are consistently doing some sort of relationship activity. I am a huge event person. I love events because I am a project manager in the core of my being. So I like start and ends of things and events are perfect, right? They're nice little projects that have a start, they have an end and I can promote the heck out of events, right? So what we do for every event, so we, we create events, we create regular events in our community. Are you doing that in your travel business? Do you have regular reasons why people can engage with you in a meaningful way? Events are a great thing. And so you think as a travel advisor, what kind of events could I have? Well, you could have information sessions. You could have destination reveals. You can have um, meet, meet, meet the salesperson or, you know, meet you, right? Have an opportunity to meet you. I just actually was um, scrolling through my uh, Facebook uh, feed this morning, as I do every morning, and I just noticed somebody here in Atlanta had a, a, a wine and meet and greet with the media. And I thought, what a great event idea to have for your tribe. So everybody loves wine. Maybe you don't like wine. Maybe you like liquor, whatever your thing is, right? But in-person events are also great opportunities for you to invite people to. And if you don't know if your people would be interested in, another interactive thing that you could do is ask them, right? I just was talking to some clients last week, I think inside of our office hours last week. And one of the questions that she asked was, I have a referral program and I don't know what to give my clients. And she's got a pretty strong tribe of people that go with her on her signature trips whenever she hosts them. And I told her, ask them, right? So if they're in a Facebook group, 
run a poll and ask them what would they like to get as a gift for a referral if they refer people. If you have a tribe and you're growing a tribe, your goal should be to get and interact with them on a regular basis. You not only want to be just doing a one-way communication, you want them to be engaging. This is also the reason why I do training is because I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to know, uh, and this is why I ask my trainings to be interactive. Reply in comments. Let me know what you think because it's two ways, right? The relationship can't get better if I'm the only one doing one-way communication. So when it comes to your marketing, you want to make sure that you're creating ongoing reasons why for people to talk to you. Polls are a really good example of that. Quizzes are another good example. Surveys that you send out via email are another good example of interactive reasons for people to um, engage with you. Events are another good reason to interact with you. And if you aren't a creative person and you're like, well, I don't know what to come up with, then you ask ChatGPT for some ideas on polls, quizzes, questions that you can ask your tribe, your email list, so that you can get that type of engagement. Some of the things that I like to do on email is I'll do a PS at the end of an email. So let's say I send out a blog to my email list or I send out a um, information or value piece. I will do a PS and ask for my email list response, right? I'll ask them in a, a question related to the content that was in that email and I'll ask them to respond. And let me tell you, that gives me a lot of joy actually responding back to the people who respond. I'll give them my input. So I never ask a question and not have a response back to you. I'm always going to respond back or I'm going to do my very best to respond back and make sure that there again is a two-way communication. People won't know that you're the bomb.com and that you're amazing at what you do unless you have conversations. And as a travel advisor, your goal in life should be having as many conversations as you possibly can have every single day with your prospective clients and even with your existing clients. But, you know, we're not out there shaking hands and kissing babies, right? So you're doing it in the online space. Best way to do that is to ask for that engagement. So number two stage, an opportunity for you to get engagement is for the an, an ongoing process. So an ongoing way to do that, host events, ask polls, question surveys at some regular frequency. We do a, we actually haven't done one this quarter, so we'll be doing one soon. We usually do a survey to our email list every quarter, asking questions about upcoming training that we're doing, asking for feedback, asking for what our community is looking for. Because again, what we want to do is provide value to our community. You've got a tribe of uh, uh, enthusiastic travelers. What do they want? Ask them the questions. And then number three way for you or stage that you would want to do is during your promotion cycles. If you're not running promotion cycles, then you should be. These are really defined periods of time for which you're going to promote your trips, your services, or whatever you have. There should be a regular schedule by which you do that. So if it's monthly, if it's every other week, if it's every quarter, whatever that time is, you want to do it on a regular sequence. And what you should be asking for is engagement during those promotion cycles. Let people know, listen, you, um, you know, one of the things that we love to do is do wait lists, right? Let people know that something is about to drop. We build anticipation. We let people know that something is about to drop. And we're asking them, are they excited? Do they want to know when it does drop? We want that engagement because it does a couple of things for you when you ask for engagement on your social media posts and also in your email. One, when you ask for engagement in email, it gets people responding your open rates go up, right? So we want people to actually open your content. We want them to read your content. We want them to engage in your content, right? That's good for email, for posts, for social media posts. For, I, I'm going to say pretty much probably 100%. The platforms want viewers, clickers, commenters, sharers, right? So if you get people to do those actions, then the social media platforms will show your content more. So you want to ask for them 
to comment. You want to ask them to share. You want them to ask to uh, like, right? So it's not just always just about viewing, particularly on Facebook. It's actually about the interaction. The more interaction you can get on your post, the more viewers organically you're going to get through Facebook. Instagram, same way. YouTube is really viewers. They want people viewing the content. So depending on the platform that you're in is going to be the type of action that you want to make sure that you're monitoring for. So one of the things that you can do is you can do pre-promotion polls. So let's say you're about to drop your trip to Dubai, Greece, wherever you're going, right? Or whatever group trip you're planning, do a pre-poll uh, promotion. I mean, pre-poll uh, question, right? Ask a pre-poll question. Ask GTVT to come up with some pre-poll questions. What's a great thing about um, ChatGPT, and again, I'm using ChatGPT, but there are a lot of different models, right? I know many of you guys are using Voyager Social. Some of you may be using um, uh, Google's version, Microsoft version, whoever has a conversational AI. I'm just using ChatGPT as the standard for myself, but whatever platform you're using for AI, conversational AI, feel free to utilize these instructions. What you're asking for is you're getting ready to run a promotion, write a, give me a poll, a pre-poll, a pre-promotion poll that I can run to get people excited. What would be something connected to the promotion that you're doing as ChatGPT? All you'll need to do is put in the in information about the promotion and ask it to come up with a poll and then also prospective questions. What I love about uh, Facebook and Facebook groups, there's some things I don't love, but some things that I really love about Facebook groups is the, is the ability to do a poll. And polls are probably one of the highest engagement uh, types of posts that I get inside of my community. And so you can create a poll and then you can get defined answers to those uh, poll, right? So get defined questions. So you ask the question and you have defined list of answers. And then you can even in Facebook, you can leave a, um, a fill in the blank where people can fill in their own option. I love creating those kinds of contents because then I can get statistics on the answers that people have. And obviously, the, what I do with that information is that helps me make decisions about either products or services or trips that we're going to host inside of our community. And you guys can do the same thing. If you're doing a pre-promotion poll, one of the things that you can find out are what people are interested in in terms of what, uh, what would be a great package combination for you. Our promotions, same trip different bonuses, different um, features or um, add-ons or upsells or um, items that we will add in a particular promotion. So every promotion has its uniqueness about them, even though that the trip is the same. ChatGPT can help you with kind of creating that sort of promotion package as well, along with the questions that you can ask on your pre-promotion. The other one is that you can do a pre uh, a promotion video series, right? Um, reels and stories are really powerful ways to connect with people inside of YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. And so doing promotion videos around your destinations and the packages that you're creating are also great interactive. The interaction there is the views, right? So the more views you get, more connection that you're going to be able to get to people understanding about your promotion. The fourth, third thing that you can do are quizzes. I'm looking down at notes if you guys are wondering. Quizzes. Um, I love quizzes too. And so you can create quizzes and um, post those and promote those quizzes to get ideas on what people are interested in. These are also great promotion strategies. And then last one is, is you can gamify your promotions. I love gamification because people love, uh, people are competitive. I'm, I'm like a million times competitive. How many of you guys out there are competitive individuals, right? I like to get in stuff and I like to win, right? And so um, with that, gamifying your promotion, your running challenges or um, contests are also really great ways to get engagement and doing it around a promotion is also a really good idea. These are all ideas for you 
to utilize inside of your travel business so that you can start to get engagement. Um, creating a relationship that's meaningful, that's going to get people to connect to you is really the most powerful asset that you can have in your business. If you have a tribe of people that know who you are, know who your travel business is, and under, you know, they're familiar with your voice, familiar with how amazing you are in terms of delivering service, or they're getting to know who you are and understanding that you're the expert in your niche, in your people, and in your field, that is a powerful asset in your travel business. And so the more people that are in that stage in your business, the easier it is for you to sell to them. So when you're getting ready to drop a promotion, you've got people who are ready to buy. Your goal in your travel business is to get more people that know, like, and trust you, more people that understand that you're the expert and getting engagement is the key to that success. Listen, it was great talking to you. We're going to start our... How, uh, our office hours right now. So if you'd like to join us, you have any questions that you need to get answered inside of your travel business, you can join us inside of office hours starting right now inside of the Zoom room. I'll see you on Thursday with our next training and I'll talk to you soon. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com. Thank you.